Alright guys, welcome back to another video. We've got something slightly different planned for today. We thought we'd try and give podcasts a go. So the plan is we're gonna me and James gonna we're gonna try and do a podcast and we're gonna try and upload it like one every two weeks is like what we're sort of planning to do to start with. We thought it'd just be a good idea, like if like you guys probably a lot of you are farming as well, so like if you're in the tractor or something, it'd be like quite an nice thing we're hoping for you guys to listen to when you're in the tractor during the day just break up the day a little bit so we thought and we're just gonna we're gonna post it on youtube so like if you want you can watch it as well so hopefully make it a bit more interesting but if you could bear with us for the first few they're probably going to be a little bit ropey but um if you got if you get any feedback or any advice we much appreciated any topics or anything if you leave them in the comments and your advice in the comments and we'll take it on board but yeah we're just gonna we're gonna give it a go so like i said it's probably not gonna be the best to start but we feel like we're gonna keep at it and then hopefully further down the line we've sort of got some ideas of where we could take it and think it could be a pretty cool thing to do so without saying any more we'll get into it when we were doing the q a so i did ask him though um what what would you if you could have what would you buy any money but yeah like if we get let's say we're gonna swap your track by like getting another tractor yeah and you could get anything you wanted what and a question get? my question for you if i was would be <laughs> what, what would you gonna get what are you gonna get because you're always quite vague about it um let's see what you'd well what you'd obviously get. like the class 660 is like good isn't yeah. it is like a good size for the spuds like for the spud jobs we do with our narrow headlands. I like the sort of the power you get from it as well, just for like, I think it's like definitely good for um, like your sort of like your size to power ratio. I, I, yeah, the I actual size of, the, of it. I think it's one of the best there is. Yeah, the, for bulk size, definitely. Um, well, a lot of people, a lot of people are using John Deere's, aren't they, on spud jobs? Like, yeah. you see on Instagram that a lot of people have got... But if you look there, it's like, yeah, 185, then yeah. boosted to 205. It's like, it's not the biggest boost, but it's like, 185 is pretty, is decent, I think, for that size tractor. Yeah, definitely. Especially yeah. when you're considering, comparing it to, like, the T7, which is saying 165. Yeah. It's like, the 210, anyway. If you, but, but it's like, how well does the boost even work? Like... Yeah, the new Holland ones. Like, Cause if you're going off of that, like, there's, two. It says it boosted two hundred and ten. Yeah. But like, comparing to yours, like when we've compared how fast we're going, etc. Like, you just don't know whether it's actually like, working like that, whether it actually works. Well, we you know what I mean. Because we don't really know what um, yours is chip. Because mine, it might it's the chip off my tractor, isn't it? So yeah, it got. It got the guy who fitted it like dynoed it then and it was boost so it was like a two two ten boosted to he dynoed it to like and it said one nine five so that's just what we're saying yours is but <clears throat> so we're guessing it's that much because we've just literally just swapped the chip over but well you yeah you'd think that it would be working at that yeah and that would be right but but you want if you <laughs> say if you had the choice of getting whatever you, would you. Well, you would put, like, a full spec on, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. If, yeah. Like, what would you be? If I could get whatever I wanted, <laughs> it would be, like, the same as what yours is. With what, the... Like, you want, like, like, auto steer? Yeah, it'd have, it would have everything in it. But, but then, um, yeah, it would have to be that. Because I feel like if you're going for, like, a full spec... Yeah. And you're paying a lot of money. Don't know whether the quality in the new Holland would be there for the amount you're um paying. Yeah, I know. So I think when you're spending big money on like you wanna know that it's like you're gonna get your value out of it. But it's um the New Holland's good it's like we yeah, you don't I don't really it'd be cheaper than a class. And yeah, then definitely. a class is slightly cheaper than a John Deere or but then, like, or a fen. The, yeah, but then the New Holland, you either get the um, the two two five would be a good one. 
Yeah, that would be a nice trout gun. the same size. Yeah. And that would have, like, literally everything on it. Yeah, that, you would know that that, like, our 210 nav does, like, the perfect job, really. Yeah. For, like, what I'm using it for. So, like, like you're saying, like, a 225 would be pretty ideal. But, like, but compared to your class, like, that is a good tractor for what yeah. we're using it for. Because that's, the 225 is, it is like, 180, then boosted to 225. Yeah. So it's a little bit less, but it's like literally hardly anything. But I reckon you would notice that power because it's up. I think you would notice the power in that compared to you mine. Think, yeah. I think you probably would notice it. And then what? Well, so yeah, but what would it be? Or more? then you go bigger and get a two four five. Yeah, true. But then that's up to the large wheelbase, isn't it? And then yeah, if you're, you're at that, you're a larger wheelbase. You should just be looking at. Well, you could be looking at a John Deere 215, couldn't you? Yeah, that for, would be... The for general, like, bulk size of a tractor. That would be similar in ter- terms of, like, size of machine, power. power. But then you can get it better. You, you just caught up in... You caught up in, aren't you? Because it's, like, the two, T7245 is, like, your 200 horsepower boosted to 245. Yeah. But then you can get... The 270, which is 240 horsepower, the same size machine. Yeah. Which is like <laughs> extra horse. It's like, there's just something about having the more horsepower you can get, it's just the better. <laughs> it's always the better. Yeah, it's definitely better to have more horsepower than like what you need. There's no point in having a tractor that's struggling all the time. Yeah, it's just such a pain like, buying a tractor than being like, I need to chip it. Yeah, yeah, there's no point in doing that, and it's not That's... even good for a tractor to chip it. No, it's... Like, <laughs> chipping mine was a bit of a risky thing, because like, it was, like, brand new, and if something goes wrong with it, and it completely, like, messes it up, the New Holland are going to be like, we've well, been tampering with it, so... Yeah, they... That's your own cost. It, like, cancels your warranty, did not it? Yeah, so... Like... They would just say, well, you should have got a bigger... <laughs> it's just so awkward being around here, isn't it? You got like, you got your stupid, all the lanes are just such a pain in, pain to get around. Yeah, it's definitely. Just like, the size we got now is like, I think, like, personally, you wouldn't want anything bigger. No. But like, you obviously, there's people with the like sort of big, you don't get much, but you probably get like a 215. Is that sort of like the average, rather like the larger frame T seven? Is like sort of, you don't get many tractors bigger and that sort, so they're like the big ones. Yeah, there's like an odd one that's bigger than that, yeah. but you that's literally probably the top size. Yeah, but I don't. Because then, it, like, but then it comes also down to what you're using it for as well, doesn't it? Yeah, and like, there's no point in having a massive tractor if it's gonna be pulling around. <laughs> there's no point in having like overkill because then no. that is silly like it does need to be you like obviously you got to think about it has to be suitable for what it's going to be used for yeah in my opinion no i agree i agree because yeah. there wouldn't be a point in having a massive tractor pulling like a five meter cultivator because it's just going to be a pain to get around yeah but then you're just going to like fly through the fields and you're not even going to feel it and it's probably going to end up breaking the uh but um we we could like do with more horsepower realistically there's like yeah i wouldn't say we've got like, enough horsepower we're sort of like i wouldn't say it's probably like it's obviously you can push it more to the, to the limits but it's like it's def- they're definitely working hard to do what we want them to do. Like, like yeah, well, like with the ripper and stuff, like yeah. like the chisel plow, you're like ripping deep, like as deep as you can go. Yeah, it's and, and on the hills, it's yeah. like it is struggling and it's working hard all day. Like if you had a bigger engine, yeah, with more horsepower, it would do it easily. But <laughs> like. You could just end up wrecking the ripper, but... But, like, um... Because, like, if you were going, like, for the next size up, where when you sort of... You only really get it, but you have to go... We want, like, 200 horsepower, but then you've got to go to the bigger frame tractors. Yeah. So, like... But, like, in New Holland, I think... In New Holland says here that, like, the length of it... Well, it's just, like, sort of length, because 
widths or that's like the length is gonna what's gonna really mess you up for like your maneuverability. Yeah. Yeah. Sort definitely. of thing. It's like five thousand and like five five point seven meters. Well, yeah, maybe but five point eight. If you look, the width stays the same through well, the minimum width is yeah. the same all the way through. Well, that's because that's just done on um, it just sort of varies from your sort of um. What size tires? Yeah, I was gonna say, but then it also comes down to what tires you put on it. Would also affect. Yeah. Like how you're gonna get it around. I really didn't think like, cause this is my one's the first tractor we've actually had with six fifties on, isn't it? Yeah. And I didn't think, like, I was like, oh yeah, everyone has six fifties on around here. Like, (laughs) it's not gonna make a difference at all. Like going from like, cause mine had five eighties, like yours, forty twos, and now gone to a six fifty. Yeah. You like you do sort of notice the width. Like it feels it feels wider. Oh yeah, definitely. But you I was like when you when we were like sort of getting it I thought oh, whatever it's not gonna mean anything. But it's it like um But yeah, but you would speak. wouldn't you, like when you're like passing cars in the hedge or something. Yeah. Like you significantly gonna worse. notice that like your tires and white to be rubbing the hedge. That's a bit, I, I just dread just like slicing one of those tires <laughs> on like a stone or a Just comes like, past and lashes like, through the side like, of it. Oh god, completely done. Yeah, because as soon as you do that, you, you cock that tire up for a while. But that's like five, but then the class um, Axion, like eight series, like 870, let's say. Yeah. Is 5.4 metres. And what was the New Orleans? Like 5.7, 5.8. Uh, yeah, so like, it's like five point seven seven, let's say. Yeah. So it's like so we shoot, but like I always thought that I've never those... really seen an axiom. I've never seen the an axiom like sort of around us, like the U shaped ones. Anyway. Yeah, I've seen one in person. Yeah, it's like. Well, yeah. I always thought they were like meant to be a massive bulky tractor, which is awkward to get around. But like looking at that stat, you would be like. That was quite encouraging for like if you were looking at it. Yeah, yeah, right. If but well, and it is shorter than the New Holland. Yeah. Even though like, you would notice a difference. Yeah. For yeah. sure. I reckon, like. I th- I don't think that's like, I thought I think that's pretty good compared. I would thought the New Holland would be like, because there's people with like larger wheelbase T sevens around. Yeah. And they get them around like with balers on. It's like you could you would thought. And that I was I thought an act the Axion eight hundred was, was bigger than a T large wheelbase D seven but it's not but it's it's like but then when you go in for like what is well an Axion eight seventy what's that like three hundred horse yeah well like that's that would be mental something like that that's like almost up near a John Deere seven R yeah I think that's inc- I think that's re- like incredible for I don't know if it's, it must say somewhere here I must be able to find it somewhere. Right. <coughs> but yeah, I don't. But then it gets to, what was it? Uh, two eighty, I think. Yeah, then it just or sort two, of two seventy. It would just come down to like. That's we like. There's such a choice. You, I yeah. don't think there is a choice, like a massive choice, but there really is, like, in the differences of what you can get. But yeah. It's so hard to it's like this. You, you really ideally just want to demo like yeah, you all of them and just see which one works best for you. Well, that's the problem we have, isn't it? Your dad isn't the fan of the demo. Yeah, actually. we never demo. It's just like straight into which is looking like, at one, which maybe is a, not a the, shame. Not the wisest of, I don't know, it's just like, it's hard, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's, but like, um, there's just so much choice. It's like, I think like but if the class is I think class is just a completely is like an underrated brand of tractor. Yeah. I think they're creeping they're gonna creep up and they're gonna come like they're they're gonna do well. But then it's like if you go into the large wheel base then the John Deere six two fifteen R would be like an incredible tractor. Yeah. Like if that would be like but then it's like then it's two hundred and fifteen when you can get the when you can get um two forty or t- was it two eighty? Is it two eighty or two seventy even with class? The Axion eight seventy, what was that? Yeah. 
270. So it's like... So then you may as well go up a bit more. <laughs> so then it's like that's saying really competing with the 6250R, which I sort of does have one of them around it, yeah? There is a demo going around at the minute with one of them. Is it? Mm. But that, that, that seems like a big, chunky bit of kit, but... <laughs> you would just have to have it and uh, drive one and yeah. see how you do go on. But then, like, with the spud job, is like, we probably are doing some of the fiddlier, like... You wouldn't want... The silage crews around here, yeah, they'll... Uh, obviously, they've got big, like, 14-ton silage trailers on, and they have to try to get around, like, s- like small cow farms and stuff, don't they? Like, dairy farms, yeah, which can be known for being fairly small. But with the spuds, we're, like... With the headlands and all that, especially if you open up a field... Like it is tight, tight stuff. You wouldn't want, you and want the size tractors we've got now, but like then, if we if you did invest in one of those bigger tractors, you would probably it would be a tractor you'd want on like it would be a road tractor because it wouldn't it wouldn't really do you wouldn't want it in the field. Especially it would be all right when you've opened up. Yeah. If you had the headlands off, yeah, then fair enough, it'd be fine. But like on the road, it would probably be the most used to you because if we, yeah you like use that power when we have the bailey the bailey which is a 14 ton trailer there is probably like where we are there's a lot of hills so and stuff isn't it so it's like 14 tons on the back of like our tractors when you go and if it when you hit a hill like that yeah it's solution and then it does it pushes you along the road like when you go around the corner it like throws the tractor around the corners and then you like you notice it but yeah, you, you can feel you've got it up behind you <laughs> you would where you would the bigger tractor would just be able to handle it better wouldn't it yeah definitely but it's like but if you're looking at a class 870 then you'd <laughs> be like as John did 250 would be better but 215 then wouldn't be be if it's be hard to sort of compare a but like but John Deere I think I I personally think John Deere's a great tra- like I think it looks like a great tractor yeah definitely I think it's something we should well we have looked into it before yeah and I think it is something that we could like have a look at and give a go I'd love to have a go in one like, like, especially the new ones with the new joystick I think that new joystick like completely trans- like almost transforms the tractor like it just oh yeah it makes that armrest so much more like valuable and like just better because just... before it was like you're still changing direction on the steering column which yeah like then I guess fair enough but yeah this has definitely made that whole armrest just right. a lot smoother and generally just makes it easier it's to been operate to like it's like my controller and my tractor it's just like you program everything onto it and you literally spend the whole day with your hand just sat on the controller. Yeah. And it's just, it's just like a luxury to have, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Be I I like the way they have the screen set up as well. Like you have your screen right there in front of you. It's like not a big clumsy. The armrest isn't like a big clumsy armrest. No. Are you? Is the GPS and the John Deere done on the same screen? Or can you, can you do? Um, you can do it. I'm pretty sure you can do it on that screen. Like the fen, yeah. But then, pe- I think people will like having the extra screen because then you can have, which I like. My one doesn't. You can't do the screen on the, on the um. You can't do the GPS on the like normal main screen. The main screen. So then I have my own like GPS screen, and then I was like, because when we look at, it, I was like, the John Deere's like, if when we're sort of like the serial John Deere, it'd be like you just use that one screen but then like now having the second screen I realised that like it's so much nicer having the second you would like you think oh you need a set why well, you need a second screen for but like having the second screen is so like nice because it's like you have all your like program you know, stuff so, yeah you have like your depth like your depth on your rear links like you have everything like your speed and everything on there so you can like you're watching all because like you want you like you keep an eye on that and you're sort of adjusting it all the time yeah to see what's happening like it's just showing you what's happening with the tractor and then you have your gps screen and you're just like 
there as well. So it's like yeah, well, it doesn't interrupt any of what you do, it does it? It would be like you'd have your GPS. You want I don't know. You might be able to get it where you can have like half the screen and half the screen, but like then that would be. But like still, quite then it will make small, wouldn't it? It'll make both bits awkward to use. Yeah. It, so I think like it'd be. I think yeah, it's two screens is definitely. I understand thing. that why yeah I think it's good like obviously it's the screens can be a lot of money like a yeah. grand per screen yeah <laughs> well yeah it's screen, like it? it does come to a point it's like do you need it or do you not need it and then it's just like it's, <laughs> whether you have it or not but I because I, 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 I remember I used to watch videos and be like oh, what have they got the extra screen in just for like sort of a GPS and then it's like <laughs> You don't need it when class is like a work class. You have to have it Come in the to class. It. Then, and then I'd, I'd like this year realised that like it's so nice being able to have the actual watch where my G- what my GPS is doing and watch what my tractor's doing as well. Yeah, so this is the uh, Command Pro joystick. Yeah, which yeah, I think that's... you've got up. It's quite... Well, I'd never knew you could do that many different types of speed off of it, depending on the angle you take it. Yeah, no. Um, is that on the bottom left there? Can you then? That's how you program it. So like, so that would be like sort of, mine's like F keys, but then you have that, and then you, you just tap it and say, oh yeah, I want it to do this button to do like, number one spool. Oh uh, yeah. And this button to do, is I think this controller is probably a bit more programmable compared to mine. Yeah, okay. but this one's a lot smaller, like yeah. in your hand. Yeah, and then you you never you like look at the joy sixteen you think oh that'd be horrible to hold like mine the class yeah, one especially like what the hell is that it's just like a <laughs> it's like just a like, blob in your it's hand. just a ball <laughs> and you you I I actually really like it like it does actually work really well and that one like it looks a bit I don't know something about it which looks a bit weird but I'm sure it's like something you get used to well you like you don't know like you look at it now you don't know how you hold it but you jump in your class and you, you just, just hold it and you like hop you just sort of hand like mould to it perfectly like yeah. your fingers end up being you like rest on, on the button so I'm sure if you jumped in with one of these you'd end up just holding it and like knocking it around I'm pretty sure someone told me as well like um because they've driven like a, a 250 and they've like had a trailer on the back and had air brakes and said that when you pull back on the stick it like turns to activates the trailer brakes as well right which I think would be something like I don't know if mine does that because I've never we have, I've never used that air brakes right, but like if I can if we can get that if that works that would be like but I'll just because like the engine braking I think is the only thing which really lets it down yeah that's the only yeah, thing I'm sure. like a little bit disappointed with about it it's just like but then it is a case of like that new Holland exhaust brake is literally just phenomenal and like if you could have spec it on every tractor. Like if I could have spec it on the class, like well, you would definitely, definitely yeah, it'd be quite. something you look for in a tractor to have. It just makes such a difference of like the hills round here. It's like the hill up the hill we have to go down. It's like you just put your foot on the exhaust brake with an empty trailer. And you just oh yeah, you fly. don't even you touch your brakes. It will just hold you there at like twenty seven mile an hour. So like nearly flat out, but like not quite flat out. And it will just hold you down there all the way to the bottom. You don't have to worry. Yeah, well, well mine stops like trying to go. <laughs> when it starts trying to go like you go down there. It starts trying to run off. You're like, Jesus Christ! Come back. <laughs> yeah, it's not being able to stumble with brakes. Like. It would be um good to see what like a two two five is like, because well, surely that's yeah. got the with, well, the with the exhaust brake in it. I'd, yeah. And Vario, that would be a good like. I'd love to see how quickly that would, like sort of like having the combination of the barrier holding you back and having the exhaust brake to hold you back I yeah think be... that would be something nice to try out actually because now what i do is you like exhaust brake drop down a gear yeah and then that properly slows you right down especially when you come to like a crossroads or something yeah like that is a really good way of um yeah just bringing you to a stop really but yeah. Yeah, go on. No, yeah, I think that two two five, with the exhaust brake be could good, be quite a good. That would be, be a good tractor. I, right? it's, it's like, I don't know, but it's sort of did put it in the comments. Off. Do you see that someone put it with the Q and A comments? It's like, oh, 
Ben loves it. His German tractors. I do like just anything German. I think it's just. I think it's. Well, I don't think you can really. Yeah, I don't think you can really go wrong with German. But like. Not that New Holland is a brilliant tractor, but I like my one. Yours has been good. My one we had like a few problem like issues with. But yeah, but mine's still young, isn't it? We'll just have to see what happens to it. It hasn't... Yeah, it's been all right. The worst thing about it is that our blue sensor. It's We've had bad. that go... You've had it go, like... A few times. Yeah, yeah, I've had it go, like, once or twice on mine already, which is a bit of a shame. But some people say that's... Well, but then they, apparently it happens in, like, most yeah, tractors. So we'll just see what mine does, won't we? But if you... The exhaust brake, though... I did, because what I spoke to someone from class... Um, I spoke to someone from class because they rang me about how I was getting on with the tractor. I was talking to her, I was saying, oh yeah, the engine braking isn't great. And yeah. I just like seeing if they had any advice on it, and it was like, yeah, not really. <laughs> but they're meant to be working on like a new software update to him, which is meant to be like a lot better. Yeah. Because he had like driven it and said it was like superior to like what we've got now. Yeah. Just for the six sixty, but like. So I hope that comes out soon, but like, he was saying the eight Axions, they have an exhaust brake in them, so like when you pull back on the stick, it like yeah. activates an exhaust brake as well, so like if you were, like if you were looking, looking at them. you would like sort of, you would have the exhaust brake as well, which I'm sure would be like, yeah, would be like, yeah, great, <laughs> if you had like an 870 on the road, that'd be, I'd be, yeah, and then on a bed former in the uh, yeah spring what that the, would be what uh, the good. Grimmy, um or like I just Grimmy just well German again <laughs> it's just meant to be like sort of the best spud is like sort of got to build his name up as like the best stud spud kit isn't it so it's like yeah well, I think Standen is slowly I don't know if, well I was talking doing well. The guy who does the de-stoning around here, I was talking to him about de-stoners, because what I'm like, sort of interested in, like, well, I'm interested in, like, maybe one day, sort of, getting a de-stoner of our ass and seeing if we can have a go. Yeah. But, um, he was, because he has, he runs both a Grimmy de-stoner and a stand, and, a stand and, and he says the Grimmy is just so much better, like, the stand and, like, you can destroy it if you, like, because we, we don't have the best ground, there's a lot of stones, it's like not loads of soil. Yeah. He was saying like the stand and just like, yes. you can give it a beating and it just sort of gives in where the sort of the grimy. Didn't he say you can pull it through anything? The grimy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he says like, if you, he was telling me, he said when you hit something hard, like because he's got a fence, so it's just with the vario, so when you hit something hard with the D stone, it just stops the tractor because like the vario is like, they sort of like try and pull, but then um, it's like wedged or something. Yeah, they like they can't um, they sort of, they sort of when it's too much, they just sort of like give up. Yeah. They sort of like just stay there, and just sit still. So like when he hits something hard, the tractor just comes to a stop. Then I think he just like obviously doesn't de- like picks it up, goes over over it and, and just on. leaves like an island. Yeah. But so like that just. Well, but whereas you said if the perfect. stand and hit it, it would just get it mangled. It just bend it and like. It, Time yeah. to go back to the workshop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get it all sorted out. But it's, I don't know. It's but yeah, if you were to get an Axion eight seventy, the the main job we would have it for would be to run a bed former, for the spuds. Well, if we had something of that a, size, we'd want the one like one of those um, bed formers which. Um, Ro- uh, rotor spikes at the same time. Yeah. Or rotate, so they like have rotate at times, but. Yeah, well, I think that's the new thing for them, isn't it? Is to have a to have rotate at times instead of rotor spikes. Yeah. Which seems like a faff to change, but then because they wear down quicker than rotor spikes, but because you can like fold it and bring it down, then all you'd have to do is like get an impact gun on it. Probably it would be easier would be if easy. you can fold it, like you're saying, you're folding it up, I reckon you could, it's not like... You wouldn't have to get it up in the air and get under it. The rotavator we've got is that you'd literally just have, like, your impact gun span. Yeah, it'd be like, like shoulder height, get it off, but, 
yeah, I think I heard that, like with the rotor spike, we only have to change them once in the year, don't we? Yeah, once, maybe twice, depending on sort of like what it's done, but... But then uh, with one of the like rotivators hinds, yeah, you'd have to change that like twice, like halfway through. Yeah. For sure. To like make sure it was doing a good job still. This because like when you because we because when we occasionally use the rotivator, don't we? When we like we sort of just want to get some ground sort of like spikes, and then we just need the An extra, extra one. Yeah, if we use the rotivator. In this, we do give the like the blades do wear down fairly quickly even though it's all been broken up but it's just like it's just the stones which sort of destroy them but it's it's like because it's not i don't know i, I think but they, they say they don't the spikes aren't as good because they leave or is it they leave like a pan like they sort yeah of, but i i don't know but I then you could look at using a power harry but then that stirs the ground more that doesn't, doesn't it go that, down deep enough does it yeah that it just stirs the top of the ground but which yeah i think then just makes it harder for the bed forming yeah it depends what ground you're in because so we've gone before without even rotor spike in it and bed formed on top of the kv ripper yeah you, you a just few got... years ago when the weather was being a bit challenging and we had to like miss it out yeah so and that managed with that so it depends on your ground quality really because yeah. some people even just plow and then like wrote a spike bed form it yeah and plant straight into that but because where we are we have to do a lot more ground preparation yeah in order to create like a nice bed for the spuds so it's but <laughs> it's hard isn't it because it's like with spike, you just got to get it nice and fine to just get as much soil out of it as you possibly can. Yeah. But it's like you can't, you can't like, you don't obviously, because when it's dry you can, it like, and it hasn't, it's when it, like sort of this year we had it a bit where it sort of like bake out didn't we? Mm. And it sort of like, it was almost, it had like gone wet and then hard so then we have the lumps and then it's like, you got to give like sort of the soil quite a hard time to get it to break up again yeah well we even use the cambridge rollers on some of it yeah because so i was out with that rolling some of it yeah just to stop <laughs> it from baking out yeah keep the moisture in it yeah then, we? then we were having to like wait for a de-stoner to catch up a bit because we had like we we did pretty good this year for like having enough people to get the like job done yeah because mm. then because it's like the last few years it's been like there's only been like a couple of us have it's been it's been flat out the whole time but this year it almost seemed a little bit more relaxed in the fact it wasn't like we'd have a we'd have to like do a couple half days because like half days in the field so we had like stuff back the yard we were doing but just to like sort of so we didn't get too far ahead yeah but the, the weather was even more was just good for us this year like yeah the weather helped <laughs> and lockdown more. helped yeah well because we were out of school or well, i was out of school it just meant that there was an extra hand there <clears throat> the lock like and the fact there was literally nothing on the road <laughs> yeah get into places just, it was just easy like you'd you'd have a big kit and you'd literally just be <laughs> flat out all the way there like well, you down the middle of the main it. road yeah you would like all these bits you'd be like oh god i don't want to go through there where this year it was just like oh, easy so but, this is this the new 6m yeah did that you see john day saw, saw an article on it that there's this new 6m that they've released um so this actually competes with the massey ferguson five seven series well, the little version yeah it. it's like i do Apparently, on the market, that's what this competes against with. Um, and there's sort of loss to that in the market. Farmers have been going towards more of the Massey. Yeah. But, but, I, but this is sort of a I like, tractor for, well, said for stock farming. But it's like which, this, it, with the original ones, is like completely basic, stripped out, like... Auto quad, isn't it? Cab. I don't... Is it... 
Oh yeah, it was something about it had like the old cab in it or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because it had like the old cab. So then, I'm pretty, and it was just like all the sort of like bomb proof equipment. Like it just like you were just gonna jump in, drive it every day. Nothing was gonna go like well. Literally, nothing goes wrong with it. Yeah, but then, if that's on straw topping or something, yeah, that but, wouldn't be too bad. But like these new ones, like that picture there, like that's. Like, the high old cab spec. was just like, that's like, that looks like a pretty high spec tractor to me. Yeah, like, well it is, it definitely it is. D- does it look like, and they do, they've just said they um, do it with auto, so Vario as well. Yeah. So it's, it's like GPS in it, it's got screens it's in it. It's got screens, now. it's got the pillar screen. It's like. And like the armrests like that. So that's completely. I don't, co- I don't quite know now where like, sort of, it's, because like. I thought like the old six M's were like you got it because you like you didn't want any of the fancy stuff because like understand like a lot of people like you just I personally love the fancy stuff just because that's like what I'm into I love the machinery and the tractors but yeah a lot of people just like want it to do it the job and just want no hassle with it and like having like no electrical stuff to go wrong in it like manual spools literally just everything's just simple yeah easy. just not <laughs> bolt stuff doesn't go wrong. Where now it's gone to something which looks like there's a lot of technology in there. There's like auto, so you could, obviously you don't have to spec it with all this, but like. Yeah, this is obviously like the top but it's spec still, of it. You it's can still get. got it. It's, it's still like sort of got the electric. It's got more electrics in there now and stuff. It's got like. It looks. I don't, obviously, John Deere has a good reputation of being reliable, but. It's like <laughs> it looks now like I don't know. Like yeah, can, I don't know. If you can't really tell, but there was a clear difference between like having a six star, which was like the fully like got all the bells and whistles, and was like that's the track that you want. Like for spec, if you like spend like if you wanted to spend a long day in it, that one would probably be the nicer one to spend the day in. Yeah, but it's probably like yeah, like they say, more electrics probably has more of a like pain in the ass things which go wrong where it's oh yeah this this sensor's gone wrong or this sensor's gone wrong yeah all this but now this the new 6m looks like it's like not far from a sick like there's it was obviously not quite there but it like literally <laughs> look doesn't there's not much difference between that and a 6r so it's like well is it have they, have they sort of lost like what they're actually trying to yeah like would this actually be ideal anymore for like I mean, a cow, be... like, a cat, say it's a dairy farm. It'd be saying that the 6M was ideal for a, like, stockman. For, like, yeah, yeah. you'd have a loader on it. You'd do whatever, feed your silage and stuff. Is this now a bit not so... Obviously, you can jump in it and go. Yeah. But it, I don't know whether that will appeal to most dairy farmers, if you know what I mean. And that might have become a bit too... Obviously, fancy, they, but they can still spec it. But I, you know, yeah, like you say, it's just like it almost looks like you can get electric spools in it now, which is like the whole thing I thought. Like they're almost trying to avoid yeah. the old ones. It's like it's basically a six R. Yeah. But literally, just not quite, and just a little bit cheaper. But still, I think it still has a massive price tag on it. Is that if you go back up again? Does that show? You can have it without a sidearm. Yeah. You can have, you see, you can have the armrest, or you can have it down here. Yeah. Down beside you. Like well, that's one. a bit of a but, <laughs> dodgy. Well, I don't know. That's just... And then having Vario as well. Like, I'm super, I'm... So you would just flick it into Vario over there, and then you just. Yeah. But then they Wait, have. Wait, where are the They back to. What was. Yeah, go back around to the side. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the spools are over there. Yeah, just on that thing. Oh, right. yeah. On that sort of, like, pampering thing. But it's, I don't know, yeah, that... I mean, if it... I think it's a feet, good... I think it's like a... a like, I didn't... Personally, didn't really... I wouldn't... I, I mean, never, that would be a fun track to have for tipping trailers on the <laughs> grader. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be... Yeah, it would be a cool me, little track to have. over, like, a hundred grand for one of them. Yeah, it's going to have like, a big price tag on it, but... But it's like, I did, like, when, surely you're almost at the point there where you've got, like, so much technology. You may as well get an R series. You, surely you just want the R if you're specking all that onto your end. Well, yeah, and then you get the power of it, so. But, but no, you're the same power, though. 
No, no, yeah, well, I mean, then if you, like, you may as well just go for a bigger tractor with yeah. more power. Yeah, but you can, they do, I, yeah, I don't think they do a 215, but they do a 195. Oh, right. So you can get them, like, big as well. Yeah, the max power, or, like, model, yeah, yeah you can get a 195. So they don't do a 215 for, like, I mean, like... So what is the difference between a 195M and a 195R now? Well, that's what, like, obviously there's, there's just the technology, isn't it? It's like, yeah, but what you're saying like, is there isn't even that much difference. Yeah. I'm saying, like, look at that. So camera. have they not just sort of, well, not ruined, but they've sort of completely changed the whole di- people, idea of the M. People like that M. Like, like round here, there's quite yeah, a few people seen, yeah. who have an M, which just, like, they just want to do what it does, and it does it, it like, it day in, day out, but... I mean, it was sort of, I don't know, it probably is still going to be, like, bomb-proof, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be bomb-proof, all right. But it's just like, well, I did, it's just like you're paying so much money now for them. And then, it's like, I don't know, I'm probably just... Yeah, well, I just like the, the nice, flashy ones. Well, you just like something big. No, I like something, I like all the gadgets in the cab. <laughs> See that he's got the two trailers on that yeah. guy, but uh, I reckon that like, if you go to Germany or something, like you probably would see a lot more of them around. Yeah, I think it's definitely to do with where we are, the countryside and stuff, the hills, and the like fields yeah. definitely play a big role in what power Just, you're yeah. having to have, the ground conditions. I would like love what you John you Deere. need to be in control of what you're doing for sure. Like, I really it's like safety. If John Deere brought out um a tractor, a six R, but like a six like one eight five R or something, same size as a one five five, I think that tractor like that'd just be like one of the dream tractors. Mm. But like surely that'd just like sell loads of them. I think that's the it's just such a gap between size and power. It's like 155 horsepower for us. It's just it's just not enough. Like when you're plowing, you like five furry plow like a foot deep. If it takes some dragging up a hill, <laughs> it is like just 155 horsepower. It's just like not gonna do it. No. It's like it's just, well like it's gonna do it, but it's just like there's a point where it's just like it's literally on its knees trying to drag it. Well, I think size and power is definitely. I think I think even the design like the tractor companies know that's what like they're trying to aim towards i would have said there's definitely a lot more smaller tractors with larger power now yeah i think they are getting there but i don't i never quite understand because a fent 7 like 720 or 724 i'm pretty sure it's the same pretty much the same size like tractor is like a 155 or a 660 and they've got like 240 horsepower coming out of it yeah Obviously, I haven't, like, looked into it, but, like, I always could, never really understood why they have, have got mastered so it so much, well. They've got, like, so much more horsepower in a similar size tractor. Because, like, if you had about 155, but yeah. with, like, it was, like, pushing 200 horsepower, or, like, close to, like, obviously, I know you can chip it, but, like, we say it's, like, the last thing you want to do is have to buy a tractor and chip it, because it's just, like... It's not. You want to buy the tractor, which is the right tractor for the job, yeah. isn't it? You don't want to be. Well, there there is no reason why a tractor needs to be big in bulk. Like yeah. it, you're buying a tractor for like horsepower. Yeah. Like n- there's no reason to buy like a massive, massive tractor. Like we would like anyone would have a smaller tractor, but just with a lot of horsepower. I mean, like you want the. It's like the weight. Well, yeah. Though. Well, but yeah. I suppose if weight. You, I presume like. The weight needs to correspond with. It's, it's, like, oh, well, it be like fifteen you tons in a little yeah, garden truck. It'll be pushing, shutting you all round the road. But, but um, I saw on Instagram that there's a one five five and like it being like tuned or something where they yeah. sort of like, like obviously mess around with it and like dial it up and change components of it. Yeah. And they got like two hundred horsepower out of it, but obviously you have to get it like sort of messed around with don't you yeah. and you have to, so you'd buy a tractor 
and then send it off to be tuned and chipped, chipped and stuff. And it's like, well, that's going to cost more. But then, like, sh- why can like if they could just produce that size tractor, but with two hundred two hundred horsepower would be good. All well, round the horsepower even for even here. To, if you could get it to like what would cost like one eight five or one eighty, just like that. Like that constant, car, like, like yeah, that's the horsepower no, it is. Yeah, just that is like what it is. And it, like you have to boost or whatever on top, but like, but I think that'd just be like I me mean, like people. Well, especially, I, I guess it's slightly like different because, like, round here we're limited, but like, people everywhere else in the country, it's just like, oh, what? <laughs> like, I can yeah. afford the bigger track. I like, I can get away with having a bigger tractor because I've got massive gateways and massive fields. If you're up country and you've got no hedges, you can get anything you yeah. want. If you've got the money, you can literally buy like a quad track. But for round here, I definitely think. We are limited. There would be so many that, that track. If that size tractor would be, is just like what everyone has around it. No one wants, but it's like, but everyone still wants more power out of them. Mm. I don't think there's a person like around here who would say like, if they have the same size tractor as like what they've got, like what we've got, like that sort of wheelbase, they would be like, yeah, I want. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy with how much horsepower. Like they could all do with a bit more horsepower. It's just a bit more. It's just like nearly there, just not quite. It's um, yeah, no, yeah, it's what you're doing it with, like what, and then it just comes back to what you're also using it for, mm. which varies depending on what job you're doing. But as we we spoke out of fence just now, have you seen the cargo T nine fifty five? No. Kelly handler. <laughs> with the cabbage. Yeah, well, up. we saw it at Llama last year. Yeah. But I think this is the small version, but we saw we saw at the fence stand this tally handler. Yeah. And I saw it again yesterday. <laughs> um yeah. so this is have you seen also on YouTube that someone was I don't know, they bought one or demoed it, but it's got like full cab suspension. I saw which someone provides had a, a full yeah, and, no, it's, it it's like, like bounces, so it? it's like crab steel, whatever it's called, with mm-hmm. like with that boom on your side. Yeah. So it's one of them, like a like a Merlot or a JCB, yeah. like they all do it. But this is meant to be, Four but it is two. fully suspended cab. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, I'm pretty sure you can even decide to lock it or something. Yeah. Um, but it's also got unrestricted three hundred and sixty degrees visibility. Which I think is pretty impressive for one of them because. What do you mean? And um, what? So th- like, so glass like you can three sixty view at any point. Yeah, not like okay. Yeah, you can yeah, see no, all the like spin around. Say, no, like, I mean like. like, like <laughs> no, yeah, you're not gonna like. You're not even like spin it around, but like yeah. So you can this see is it. it. Um, well, we'll speak about the cab going up the arm in a minute because that's a whole other level. But <laughs> I think. Since I've driven like the JCB version of this before, and the Merlot, yeah, yeah, but yeah, not spec, them, not yeah, spec'd yeah. up like this. But visibility in one of them, I've always found is completely. Well, the boom odd. is always in the way. And well, well like, we've got we've got pivot it. steer. Which, I think they're like well, these people. Well, when we were looking well, this at is the a big the topic. Always, this is <laughs> everyone always says like, it's you can lift more with the like. Not the pivot steer with like the four wheel steer. Four wheel steer, yeah. yeah. And then um, there's just the visibility, and people say that like once you go pivot steer, you'll never go back to a four wheel steer. Well, yeah, I think it's just like mucking out. I don't. Not I don't see how you could muck out a shed with one of these with people easily, but then they'll say that it's better than a pivot steer. People like it, isn't it? It's what you, you, but when you're used to it. I remember we had to load up those bales. <laughs> it's like the first time I yeah, had to drive four wheels. <laughs> yeah, yes. if you can see that in the boat, but yeah, yeah but, in the Merlot. But it was like it took me eight like. Well, we found we didn't you didn't have that maneuverability to be able to yeah. you, with a pivot seat you can come up to the trailer and, and if there's a gap you can like shift the front round and bring it up tight. But with this you had to like back out and back in, and then yeah. we just ended up leaving gaps, which. Well, we just don't even drive one anyway, don't we? Yeah. We would not go back to that. <laughs> but I think, yeah, the visibility for this, well, sounds really good. Yeah. Because that, like I say, was always a problem whenever I've driven one. But 
It's if when you lift a boob up, you send the cap to the roof <laughs> Does it, of the lotion. Well, surely, no, surely, the, <laughs> surely the boom doesn't go up yeah, the, when you lift the... You surely... You well, it be looks like to, it does. Yeah. Are you sure you don't have to always... I don't know if you have to always go... Maybe you do have to always go up with the boom. Well, you think this is something for, like, construction, which it might... Well, target, yeah. but here they've obviously if I'm got honest, it. I, I don't I see anything... That, Anyone get it? No, way. I just think that like I don't know. It's completely. It's, cool. it's a completely new thing on the telly and the market. Yeah. In my opinion, which. Yeah, is quite. Pensive, quite yeah. mad. To be fair, but. Have you seen the? Have you you seen the new cab for the new fen- fence? New cab? No. I don't know if it. Hopefully, it'll be on there. See, that's two hundred thirty-seven yeah. horsepower. Have you see? You see what? So you, God, look at the colour on it. Look at that. That's, that's insane. So you pull that out of the roof. Apparently, that's like that comes. I that's like I was speaking to someone yesterday, and he said it pulls down, but I'm, I'm, no, I don't know. That's three iPads in there. <laughs> look, at look at the buttons on the armrest. If I'm honest, I, I don't know. A bit I, too I don't know if I'm a fan with that. With the, um, with the armrest, I think I'm it's not... too crazy. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the dashboard screen. I like that. I think that looks I a bit dodgy. It doesn't fit in right. I don't know. I, I quite like that. It looks I like you're playing a game cool. or something. <laughs> it feels like Farming Simulator. <laughs> it does look like Farming Simulator. But, yeah, these buttons. I don't, yeah, I don't know. That looks a bit like but it looks, over the top. It, I mean, like, obviously everything's confusing when until you've actually used it, but it looks like there's so much. It looks like a bit... It looks like a... Com- I don't know, I was, I was saying it looks confusing, but I'm sure it's Ben isn't simple. gonna make something which is confusing, but... That's a big front windscreen on that. Yeah, and they have the like power bit which goes up, like it sort of curves up the top, doesn't it? But it sort of is, like you kept it sort of the same shape as the front armrest is now. Yeah, but like, that joystick's got like a bit... Buttons on the side. Down here, which is a bit... I don't know. I'm not. I I quite. I like the screen coming down there, and I like the screen on the dash, but the armrest. I don't know. If I'm a fan. Of, but the guy was sick because he has a Fent seven two four, of a minute. He said he he wants to get one of them. But also the visibility there on the where your m- mouse is up second. Yeah. There is, like I think, they sort of kept all the stuff where like the exhaust is, which is, like yeah. You can't even see that bit anyway. But like. For the rest of it, you can actually see quite well. Where like you could find that with like your screens and stuff here that you end yeah, up. Again, I have that with my my. Well, one. you've moved your GPS I've, screen up since to I like, moved the screen up. I moved it up to like this allows like a runner up the top, like where this pull down screen is. So I've moved it up to like there, but it was like on the sort of rail, and it was like. Coming up to like crossroads or something, you would like you would struggle to like see past it. But obviously, like if you, you when you have implements with control boxes on anyway, you, that's what happens, isn't it? So what it says here, logical color coding. So that's I guess. Yeah, because I think that means like blue buttons are like all to do with buttons, yeah, and then you get orange buttons or spool buttons and all that premium sound system that's good <laughs> four usb ports in the armrest that's good stand adjust the 12 inch terminal on the armrest additional terminal stows in the roof line oh yeah well, it must fold up but it must slide in that would be quite cool if that's like your sort of gps screen if you just pull that down yeah, that yeah, like you say, that keeps that away, and then when you want it, you can bring it back down. But it's, I don't, I don't know. I'm not like, I don't know what like. Yeah, I like like the German tractors, but it's, I don't know. There's just not. There's something about. It's just never sort of. It's not attractive, which is really grumpy, because like, everyone goes all about it. It's meant to be like sort of the best tractor there is. It's, it's like the most premium tractor you can get, but like, I think. I think John Deere's just as far up there as, like, is competing with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, but it's been sort of, like, seen as a top dog for a while. Yeah. Like, it has been there as, like, the most expensive. Well, I, yeah, I, to, one thing I do like about them is the amount of horsepower they get out, get out of them. Like, that, 
that would be good but it's, <laughs> it's just like I don't really particularly think that I don't know if there's just something I don't particularly like about them and then there's I think they're cool but then there's just like I think they're overly priced but then I've never driven one to see how whether they're actually worth that much money no but it's like 240 horsepower of that size track truck I think like that is that is literally sort of perfect for around here yeah, I mean, but you just need the other brands to sort of compete and then you can have a bit more choice but yeah do it where should we I would have said that's probably we'll try and call it a day but yeah we'll see hopefully if you guys have enjoyed it please like and subscribe and we'll try and try and get another one out in a couple of weeks time and yeah let again if you got any comments any topics feedbacks, topics yeah whatever we can discuss them in the next yeah podcast please let us know we'd also much appreciate like if you could just give us some advice on what you think like maybe like the microphones might be something if we're gonna keep if this is gonna be a, a thing we could thing. look into but yeah hopefully <laughs> we, like i said at the start we're we think we're, we're going to try and keep at it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And we'll, we've got like, we sort of got plans in our head to where we can take it. And we think we could like get some really cool stuff out of it. Do some really cool things with it in the future when it gets a bit bigger. But like this is, like I said, the first one. So we'll be just, a bit shaky. Yeah, just bear with us. And we'll try, to, we'll try and keep at it if you guys are enjoying it. And we'll just, yeah, see where it goes. But we're planning on uploading this. I think Ben mentioned it at the start once every two weeks probably on a Sunday yeah um so yeah look out for this it won't interrupt any of our like normal video schedules and it's going to be different it's going to be a side thing on this channel yeah which will be made into a playlist so you've got well hopefully in a few months time there'll be quite a few for you to listen to yeah hopefully it'll keep you entertained and hopefully it'll go down well but kick some ideas around any topics you want us to discuss yeah and uh yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.